trying to do this thing one eyed. Oh, you did make it. Okay, good. I have a left there. All right. So before we get started, uh, those who are joining us on the Zoom, remind you to keep yourselves muted unless you are called upon to speak. And for everybody who's joining us here in the uh, Common Council Chambers, please mute your phones. All right. Did you start the recording? Okay. Everybody ready? The Common Council of the City of Glendale is now in session. I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Alderwoman Vukovic. Here. Alderman Doherty. Here. Alderman Galhard. Here. Alderman Bailey. Here. Alderman Schmalzling. Here. Alderwoman Shaw, Mayor Kennedy, you have a quorum. All right. Uh, the first item on the agenda is public comment. Glendale residents, business owners, and property owners are invited to speak to the council on items that are not on tonight's agenda, but are within the city's ability to regulate or control. Is there anyone in the council chambers that wants to speak to a non-agenda item? Not seeing anyone wishing to be recognized. Is there anyone joining us on the Zoom that wishes to speak to a non-agenda item? If so, you may unmute and state your name and address. All right, it appears we have no public comment tonight, so we will move on to the consent agenda. It has two items, the adoption of the minutes for our last meeting and accounts payable. Can I get a motion to adopt the consent agenda, please? So moved. We have Alderman Gelhardt. Is there a second? Second of Alderman Shaw. Um, any discussion? Okay, we'll consider the consent agenda adopted without objection. Hearing no objections, we'll move on to the uh, first items, which are a series of public hearings. Uh, the first one is a public hearing regarding a plan development district for a general and specific development plan uh, for 1811 West Silver Spring Drive. This is a PD plan development district. Uh, we already had a hearing at the plan commission, and I will now turn it over to Mr. Fellows. There we go. Now we're on. Um, thank you, everybody. So this particular property was actually zoned PD in 1995, approximately. Uh, we were not able to find any of the appropriate documents for this particular. We think it was rezoned to PD when the pick and save was rezoned with the redevelopment of the Silver Spring Corridor. Um, there's a property owner that she would like to uh, bring more tenants into this particular business. And so in order to do that, we need to kind of have that list of uses so that we can uh, have the inspections department do their um, inspections and um, um, occupancy permits. So basically, we've helped her through the process, gathered up the old documents, put it together into the package. And so tonight, you basically have your specific and your general development plan on the agenda for the public hearing. And then also, uh, your third item tonight for this item is the development agreement. Um, the development agreement was shared with her pr uh, prior to this meeting. We didn't get any comments back with regard to the development agreement. The questions, so otherwise it's essential. All the documents relate to 1995, so it's it's exactly what is there. There's no change. Proposed uses are all pretty much consistent with any of the other business uses along Silver Spring. Mm -hmm. Financial insurance, Correct. real estate office, medical or dental office cooperative and co-working space, sales office, professional services, administrative offices. So probably the most current thing is the co the idea of the co-working space is probably the more current yep. type. All right. Any questions from members? All right. I'll go ahead then and open the public hearing. Is there anyone wishing to testify in the public hearing regarding the plan development district for 1811 West Silver Spring Drive? I'm not seeing anyone in the council in the council chambers raising their hand or indicating they want to speak. Is there anyone online that wants to speak to the plan development uh, agreement for 1811 West Silver Spring Drive? If so, you may unmute and state your name and address. I'm not seeing anyone online or in the council chambers, so I'll do a second call. Is there anyone wishing to testify in the public hearing?
And third and final call, anyone wishing to testify in the public hearing for 1811 West Silver Spring Drive Plan Development District. All right, I would entertain a motion from a member of the council to close the public hearing. So moved. Moved by Alderman Bailey, is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Schmelzling. All those in favor of closing the public hearing on 1811 West Silver Spring Drive, please say aye. 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 Motion carries, the public hearing is now closed. So next is a consideration of approval for the plan development, the specific development plans that were presented. So can we get um, a motion to approve the plan development, specific development plans? So moved. Okay, moved by Alderman Bailey. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second by Alderman Gelhard. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor, aye. 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 Close no. Motion carries. The next item now is the consideration of the actual development agreement or the approval of the development agreement for the plan development district for 1811 West Silver Spring Drive. Can I get a motion to approve the development agreement, please? So moved. Move Alderman Gelhardt. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Vukovic. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Aye. Motion carries. The development agreement is approved. Okay, the next item now is a public hearing regarding a planned development district for 5055 North Lydell Avenue. Uh, this is the former Sunbeam Oster property that is currently owned by Phoenix Investors, and I will turn it over to Mr. Fellows. Thank you very much. We did have a public hearing at um, the Planning Commission for this particular item last week. Um, there was some general comments from the public. Uh, I think there was two, possibly, uh, virtually. Um, this particular project, it did come before you last summer. Uh, it's it's changed just a, a little bit in terms of the uses. The building uh, is still essentially the same, but I'll walk you through it real quick. Uh, essentially, the office building component along Lydell will be removed. The back part of the building will remain uh, the one-story section. They're actually going to split the building. It's kind of an L-shaped, so it's going to end up being a southern and a northern building with a, a driveway in between. Uh, they're going to be updating landscaping, building facades. Um, there was some question about um, the location of the garbage dumpster corral. Um, I did not hear back from the developers with regard to an alternative location about that. Um, if for some reason uh, you wanted that to be dealt with at the staff level, that could be considered, or if you're fine with it where it currently is, that's good too um, from that perspective. And then I'm just going to kind of jump into the development agreement. There's two items that I have missing from them that they know about. There is a dollar amount, which is actually their bond. It's 25% of a certain number. They need to get that number to us, which we can fill in afterwards. So when you get to that item, if you wanted to just make that subject to staff filling in the number prior to you know getting the document executed. And then um, the last uh, exhibit in that is uh, a list of, of the ownership team. I just need the names, phone numbers, those types of things to attach. So um, two minor things on that one. What team? They're, they're the leadership team, leadership. so the, the the development or ownership team of the of uh, Phoenix. And if you have any questions, I'll be get, glad to answer any before you. Are there any questions by members of the council? All right, thank you, Mr. Fellows. All right, we'll now open the public hearing on the plan development district for 5055 North Lydell Avenue. Is there anyone in the council chambers that wishes to testify on this particular item? My name is John Fuchs. I'm here on their behalf, not so much to participate in the public hearing, but to answer any questions or respond to anything that might come up in it. Also, I believe both Ian Wolkowitz and John Pere are appearing by Zoom. Uh, so we're here if you need us, but I'll step back in case somebody else. All right, thank you, Mr. Fuchs. I would also note there once was a development agreement for 1811, but whoever the idiot was that was city attorney at the time can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't see anyone in the council chambers, anyone else coming up to speak about um, 8, or 5055 North Lydell Avenue. So now is there anyone on the Zoom that wishes to testify in the public hearing about 5055 North Lydell's planned development district? 
If so, you can unmute, state your name and address. All right, second call. Anyone wishing to speak, either in the chambers or on the mute, on the Zoom? And third and final call in the public hearing for 5055 North Lydell Avenue. All right, can I get a motion from a member of the council to close the public hearing, please? So moved. Second. Seconded by Alderwoman Vukovic. All those in favor of closing the public hearing, aye. 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 Opposed? Public hearing is now closed. So we have two items before us. The first is the consideration or the approval of the specific development plan for 5055 North Lydell Avenue. Can I get a motion to approve, please? So moved. So moved. Moved by Alderman Vukovic, seconded by Alderman Bailey. Any discussion? Alderman Schmelzing? Yeah, just a, I'm glad I can finally see more. This is seems to have at this point firmed up. Um, so it says 30 to 50 employees. A couple questions, I'll just rattle through them quick. So that is the regional center. So that includes both the what is expected to be service as well as potentially sales and office support. Is that the general? I'm just going to ask Ian or John to yeah. weigh in on that. They have a better handle on it than me. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, John Perret with Phoenix Investors. Um, yeah, initially, uh, the uh, the tenant that is going to go, be going into this space is going to have uh, auxiliary offices, uh, some customer support, and basically uh, a, a faction of the uh, support slash service. So that that's the initial. Long-term, things may change down the road, but that's you know, going to be up to the state dealing with some, I guess, legality things with the the, the prospect of tenant. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question that I had is, it's a lot of parking there for that 30 to 50 employees. And I noted that the development agreement states that there's no storage of vehicles outside. So is there any like long-term or future plans to utilize some of that space? I know it used to be a large headquarter and now it's, well, not because of the change in market. Seems like we could really improve the the use of that if it were to be parceled off or, or utilized for something more. Personally, I was hoping for a, I would say, a more extensive development in this place, considering it was earmarked in our uh, 2024 or 2040 comprehensive um, vision plan to be um, something as a larger development. Yeah, it, it, and that, that site specifically, it's a little tough because the truck traffic has to come off of Port Washington. So that truck traffic to support both the north and what's going to be the south building has to basically cross over that parking lot. So we improve the landscaping and there's also, um, I guess there's uh, a potential for growth in the future, an anticipated growth in the future. So we want to make sure we don't handcuff them with not enough spots and enough maneuverability for what they want to do. Okay, so that that makes it seem more like this might become some development plan change in the future to have potentially on premise storage of vehicles no no there's no there's no anticipated storage of vehicles at this point okay <clears throat> um so so just in just thinking about how it'd be for a consumer or someone coming in they drive down port they'd see the monument sign they turn in kind mm. of curb around and then the front to the consumer would be facing west and correct. then the parking on the right or on the east side is just for employees and such correct okay um let me see what <clears> else <throat> and yeah i think those one were... of your questions got missed there's no current plan to parcel it off in any way right okay thank we're you we're only yeah we're only doing a csm right now to split the north and south of the property but as of right now we're not parsing any of it out for any type of sale or, or development right okay yeah just it's uh it's it's exciting to see it developed but i'm disappointed that it's not something more given what used to be there yeah um, I'll, I'll leave it there for everyone else to comment thank you yeah, yeah we're just we're happy to get some activity in the building it's just it sat vacant for too long thank you anything else from members of the council all right we'll go ahead and call for a vote then all those in favor of approving the specific development plan for 5055 north lydell avenue please say aye 
Aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. And now finally, we have the development agreement. Uh, the development agreement obviously specifies all the things in the development plan and you know, puts them all into the legal agreement. So can I get a motion to approve the development agreement subject to the inclusion of two items, the bond amount and the leadership and ownership team, and that those can be inserted by staff before it is given to me for signature? So moved. Move by Alderman Vukovic. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Gelhard. Any further discussion? All right. All those in favor of approving the development agreement, please say aye. 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 No. Motion carries. The development agreement is approved. Thank you, Mr. Fuchs. Thank you as well, Ian and John, for joining us. Absolutely. <clears throat> Everyone have a great night. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, John. All right, uh, now we'll move on to just a few new business items. Uh, the first is the approval of an open burn permit for 5757 North Green Bay. And I believe that's Johnson Controls. Mr. Warwick? Uh, yeah, Wisconsin, or excuse me, Johnson Controls has requested a open burn permit. Uh, they anticipate doing the burn on March 30th, 2024. Uh, they've submitted a permit to North Shore Fire Rescue, which has been approved for this date. So staff recommends approving the open burn um, around that date for 5757 North Green Bay. Um, do they have an option of a rain date if the, there should be inclement weather that day? Well, we put just a scheduled burn date of, of uh, May 30th. I, I believe that motion was flexible enough that if it doesn't make the 30th, that they can alter the date sometime in 24, 2024. To I, I think it's burn. March 30th or April 6th on that. Yeah, they put a couple different dates, but their permit from North Shore Fire, I believe, had a specific date. So I grabbed that out of there. There was a couple dates floating around. Um, I think they ended up choosing the 30th yeah, as... Right, they have, they have several dates on the application, but it looks like North Shore Fire only permitted one. And so I'm wondering, do are we approving then the application or are we approving the permit for that date that the North Shore Fire is approved? Because if they don't, then I think it would have to, if, if they have rain that day, it would have to come back to us to consider another date unless we approve the permit for that date or other dates specified in their application. Yeah, if you just wanted to approve it subject to a date approved by North Shore Fire and Rescue, that could make it as um, as open as possible. Okay. And any other questions from members of the council? Yes. Yes, Alderman Shaw. Just to make sure this is going to be a burn as they have done in the past. Yeah, this is the identical burn that they have done in the past with the same company that they've used at least the last couple of years. Just making sure so that everyone knows what the history is. Thank you. All right, so we have a recommendation from staff that we approve uh, the open burn permit at 5757 North Green Bay Road. Uh, so the prairie burn uh, with the scheduled burn date of March 30th, but um, I'd like to ask for a motion to approve it for March 30th or another date that would be um, permissible for the North Shore Fire Department. Can we get a motion in that regard, please? Thank you. Alderman Shaw has moved it. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Gelhard. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Those no. Okay. Motion carries. Next is authorization to execute a work order for construction services for the private lateral replacement program with Clark Dietz, not to exceed $112,755. Mr. Warwick. Uh, thank you, Mayor Kennedy. So the, the city has an agreement with uh, MMSD for them to fund completely the uh, PPI replacements uh, for the private lateral um, improvements in the city of Glendale this year. Um, I believe this year is mostly or all in the Clovernook neighborhood. Um, in order to move forward with this, the um, Common Council would need to authorize the execution of a work order with Clark Dietz not to exceed $112,755. 100% um, of that payment is paid by MMSD. It's just the work completed on behalf of the city. All right. Any any questions from members of the Council? Yep. Alderman Shaw? For recording purposes, could you please uh, identify what PPII stands for? So for pr posterity. Private property inflow and in infiltration. Make I sure approve these all the time at MMSD commissions. I figured that much. <laughs> I figured that much. I just wanted to make sure it was on the recording. Yep. 
It is uh, funding from MMSD that it allows that is actually allowed to be spent on private property as opposed to in like public right of way or under the roads or something like that. So, all right. Any other questions? All right. It has been moved and seconded. So we will go ahead and call for a vote. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, aye. 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 Motion carries. Did we move? Okay, let's try it again. Somebody move, make a motion, please. I'll, moved I'll, moved by Gelhard. Who's the second? Second. Um, Schmelzen got the second. Sorry, Tamika. <laughs> Thank you, though. All right. Um, now we'll vote. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. All right, next is a proclamation proclaiming April 26th as Arbor Day in the city of Glendale. Do this every year. Moved by Alderman Shaw. Second. Second by Alderman Bailey. Uh, it's a requirement actually for our Tree City USA designation. That and I have to plant the tree then on somewhere <laughs> around Arbor Day. So, all right, we do it with a bunch of Parkway kids. A lot of fun. All right, any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 No? aye. Motion carries. And the next item is a resolution authorizing Director of Public Works to sign and submit the recycling grant application and the annual reports to the Wisconsin DNR. We also do this every year. Move by Alderman Shaw. Second. Second by Alderman Gelhard. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Okay, that completes all of our new business. Now we have commission, committee, board, and staff reports. And then we are noticed to go into a closed session to discuss a legal matter with our attorney. Um, commission, committee, board, and staff reports. I will go first this time. ICC met earlier today. I have nothing to report from the ICC. Tomorrow morning, the North Shore Fire Department is meeting here at 8 o'clock. We are hosting an in-person fire department meeting. And afterwards... We get to go take a tour of the fire station. So, any of you want to join us tomorrow around eight thirty, eight forty-five? We could put on put on a hard hat and go see the construction zone. So, uh, that concludes my report. And I will go to city clerk. Anything related to elections? In person absentee starts next week, Tuesday, and goes through the following Friday. Weekdays only, eight to four thirty, except the last Fridays, eight to five. And we still could use some poll workers. So if anybody knows anybody, we'll still take applications. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, Chief. Nothing to report tonight. Thank you. All right. City Administrator. Uh, yeah, today we had our bond rating call with Moody's. We maintained our same A rating that we were upgraded to last year. Uh, we have hopes into the future to be upgraded further by Moody's to have a higher bond rating. Ooh. City Attorney. Thank you. Nothing this evening. All right. Uh, number one, Alderman Vukovic. Nothing to report. Thank you. Alderman Doherty. Nothing to report tonight. Thank you. Alderman Gelhard. Nothing this evening. Alderman Bailey. Nothing this evening. Alderman Schmelzing. Nothing. Alderman Shaw. Nothing. All right. That concludes our reports. Can I get a motion for us to convene in closed session pursuant to 19 Wisconsin Statutes 19.85 sub 1 sub G? to confer with our legal counsel. Move by Alderwoman Shaw, is there a second? Second. Second. Second by Alderwoman Vukovic. <laughs> All those in favor of convening in closed session, say aye. 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 No. We are now in closed session. There will be no action when we come out of closed session. We will be uh, reconvening into open session and then adjourning the meeting. So any of you who get put into the waiting room, just know that when we bring you back into the meeting, it will be simply to adjourn the meeting. So thank you. Okay, the uh, motion was made by Alderman Bailey, second by Alderman Gelhart at 7.02 p.m. to reconvene in open session. The vote was unanimous. We are now back in open session. There is nothing to consider, um, nothing to vote upon from the closed session that we had. So I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Alderman Gelhart, seconded by Alderwoman Shaw. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Opposed? And adjourned.